Alright, what's going on everybody and welcome back to Back to the Future, episode 5. Last time, we got to what we believe to be Edna's door, or house, or whatever you want to call it. The old DeLorean is right here, so I guess we're gonna go... There's a trap. Ah, I saw... Oh, damn it. I don't know why that happened. That's definitely... A Oh, Jesus. How am I going to do this? Is, uh, is the line broken? Nope, tripwire. I can press it now. Miss Strickland. That's just obnoxious that I have to do hey, that. Miss Strick Who are you? I am Yargov Shmirnov. Uh, Yakov Shmirnov? That's a foolish name. And I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names. But we're not strangers. How do I know you? Um... You interviewed me once. You tried to have me arrested. You tried to have me arrested once, a long time ago. Remember? Listen, Sonny. I'm an easygoing woman, but I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is, I never, ever talk about the past! Nor the future, neither. Hmm. I don't talk about any day but today. Very well. I guess that didn't go so well. Of course she doesn't there's something in her past she's trying to forget. But we're gonna try it out. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Knock on the door again. Well, I can't knock on the door, goddammit. Can I walk around it? Just walk up the, here? An old saloon sign. Hmm. Cool. Too bad it's all burned. Did you just take it? You little thief, Marty. Can I disable this somehow? No. Oh, maybe. Oh, hold on. No. Our house. Anything? I don't want to go in there. Why did I press it? Yeah, I can wait. Definitely. Ooh, a mop. I'm guessing this mop doesn't get much use. Take it. You're just stealing every. Oh. Stealing everything, buddy. You little rascal thief. A clay oven. What's cooking? Do I want to know? Really? That's the wipers of the DeLorean. A burner. Oh, a torch. Burning stick. Can I burn the wire, please? Uh, why can't I move? Burn down the outhouse. Clay oven. Bur what? Why can't I move? I I can't move. Burn I guess down this the isn't house? the right time to be burning things. Ah, oh, you got the shit. Oh, ow. Damn it! Why can't I move? Hmm. Burn out DeLorean. That definitely is the old DeLorean. Torn apart. I hate to see it like this. <laughs> well, let's be honest, Marty, you did it twice. <laughs> uh, you. Nink and poop. Yeah, that is really obnoxious. What? It's me again, your old friend. How do I know you? Um, uh. Saved your life once. I saved your life once, a long time ago, remember? Kid Tan and had you tied up. How many times I gotta tell ya, I don't talk about any time but today! Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. Uh, we spent today together? We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, yeah. October 13th, 1931. October 13th? 1931. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what are you here for? Um. Uh, I brought something for you. I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. Damn it. That did not go as planned. Um. I 
do I have a newspaper still? So, oh, maybe, maybe, uh, no. Any, no, damn it. Um, mail? Is there any mail Mary Pickford. Now where would she pick up a fake name like that? Yeah, I don't know what I, a, a cactus? You've got a nice cactus here. Quit beating around the bush. Um, Were you expecting anything, uh, in particular? I wasn't expecting you. ka -ching. A burning stick, maybe? My mom is shouting. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Sorry if you can. She's loud. And right outside my door. I got a burning stick for you. I'm gonna smoke you out. Um, oh, I forgot I can't move with it. Damn it. Can I burn down the outhouse? Guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. Damn it. Ouch. Ah, I don't know. I don't have anything for you. What do you want? Hint. That's, well, gee, sorry. Don't look at her, Doc. Don't look at her. I need a hint. So, Edna refuses to talk about any day but today. Yeah, I know. That's okay. Today's given you plenty to talk about. Explain to Edna that you already talked to her today. I did. And she came out the damn window, and I don't know what to do. Let's try that again. I can't work past the tripwire. I can only activate it. Wow, that's weird. Um, I know who you are. Hi, Miss Strickland. It's who? Strickland. You're Edna Strickland. Take a look at the mailbox, Sonny. Name's Pickford. Mary Pickford. And it has been for as long as I care to remember. And like I told you, I don't care to remember! God, um... You stole that DeLorean. You that car over there? You stole that from, from Carl Sagan. And you, you time jumped into the past. Me? Steal a car? You got a lot of nerve, Sonny. Everyone in town knows that Mary Pickford's the most law-abiding citizen that Hill Valley's ever had. Then I don't give a fig about the past. Oh, gee. Um... I brought something, I brought for, something you. for you. Carl Let Sagan. See. Let me see. Good old Carl Sagan. I brought you Doc. I brought you him. Him. <laughs> him. Him who? Um, it's Carl Sagan. Sure you remember him. Carl Sagan. Uh, the guy you framed as a speakeasy arsonist. Speakeasy? A arson? That's complete gibberish, Sonny. Whatever you're talking about's got nothing to do with me. I never involve myself in such criminal shenanigans. Still, his features remind me. Someone. Um, it's Emmett Brown. Lord, don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend. My boyfriend? Emmett yeah, Brown. He's, um, he's all grown up. Come closer, fella. Marty, what am I supposed to do? Trust me, Doc. Just go with it. Oh, God. I'm f putting him in a terrible spot Emmett. right now. Yes, Edna. It's me. The one and only. It is. It's October 13th, 1931. Oh, and you are Emmett. Emmett. Oh, how did I get so turned around? Have I been dreaming? Or, well, stay there. Hmm. Classic case of oppressed memory syndrome. Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scene. Trying to forget. Yeah, it seems so. Definitely seems so. Oh, wow. Law abiding. Oh, you look. Great, I suppose. Darling, you've come back. Uh, no, not really. Of course, I knew you would. An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tip. I trust you've done the same. Last night's little tip? Of course I have. What? Uh, uh, uh. 
Uh, schnookums. Schnookums. <laughs> schnookums. <laughs> you're sweet. But you're Whoa. still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic... What's... This? Um... Okay. She's clearly talking about today. Now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh... This is... She's talking about Hill Valley that doesn't exist. I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. What could it be? You traveled back in time? If we can keep your mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. So... Here's something that'll make you remember. Remember what? I don't like to remember. Who are you? What are you doing in my yard, you hooligan? Ah, oh, no Jesus. Yard. No yard. What? This is Emmett speaking. It's October 13th, 1931. Yes. And something's about to happen. Oh, yes, something big. But what? You better not talk to her directly. You'll break the spell. Hmm. Hmm. So, Doc, if you... Help me figure something out. Yes? Um, what's gonna happen to us? How did, uh, uh, blah, blah, and this guy, well, I have a block. What she's trying to remember. I'm not sure what she's searching for. Did Detective Parker do something to Edna at the expo? He chased her. He tried to arrest her. That must be it. Can you think of a way to prompt her memory? Bruh, um... Uh, what happened to Artie and Trixie? Grandpa married Trixie. Well, what are we gonna do about that? It's a dire situation, but I'm afraid I'll have to take a back seat to unraveling this unspeakable catastrophe. Oh God. Um, Edna's cracked. You know, I've been dealing with Edna Strickland a lot lately, and I've seen her old and I've seen her young, but I've never seen her so batshit crazy. Oh, you said it. You said it. How did Edna get used the DeLorean in the to jump into the past. I wonder why she never jumped out again. Put yourself in her shoes. Unexpectedly propelled into the past by an unreliable time machine. Would you risk another trip? I might. Um, been dirt on that. What's gonna happen Explain to us? Explain something to me, Doc. Edna jumped to the past and made Hill Valley disappear, right? That's the working hypothesis. Then how come we're still around? Whatever Edna did to Hill Valley must have happened so long ago that the ripples of the time stream haven't caught up with us yet. So, how long do we have before the ripples catch up with us? Oh, I'm sure we've got at least an hour before everything goes to hell. Great. Oh, God. Wonderful. Um, give me a second. I'm sure you will. What do we have in our inventory? Um, we have the mob, useless. Ooh, the saloon sign, maybe. Show that to Emmett. Not to the cactus, to Doc. Not sure what that'll do. I need a hint. I'm stupid. And I was trying to remember a traumatic incident initiated by Officer Parker. You know what this is, right? Um, Edna needs a good vi visceral reminder of the moment when she stood exposed as the speakeasy arsonist. Oh. 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 Not sure what that'll do. Show it to Edna then, for God's sake. I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... He's not here. There's no Parker. Officer, I can explain. It was a trick. I was framed. Oh, he's after me! Did not go as planned. Ha! Curses! I can't shake him! Well, no use in holding back now! Let's see what this baby can do! And Turn it up to 88! Here it comes! Yes? Here 
point comes. I, uh, I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Oh, come to think of it, how can I be expecting something unexpected? Uh, oh, what's going on? Quick, Marty. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. I need to make sparks some... Oh, of course. The clay oven. Fire. Something. Come on, Marty. Gotta get some fire going. And make some sparks, maybe? In the freaking... I don't know. Put a fire on dark? I don't think that's a good idea. Well, let's try. Sure what that'll do. Good. We're thinking alike. Is it fire to the outhouse? Okay. I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. Set up again. In what? How am I supposed to make sparks? I am no sparky person. And then he's about to believe it's a wrap up of a time jump here. Yeah. Uh, is something there that makes flashes and bangs? No, there's not. Trigger. Oh, just. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm stupid. Let's go activate the trip wire. To where? Back to the past. What do you see? When? Hill Valley. But it's all different. It's so small and primitive. Heavens! Can it be? It is! 1885? Grandfather! Big as life! Yeah, go Huckham. I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No. Oh, mm. I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter. I'm not even sure it is a man. This is all very confusing. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids. Better find a way to bring back Marshall Strickland quick. You've got to bring this story to a climax. The uh, freaking sign. Freaking sign. Saloon sign. Definitely. Maybe this will take you back. Back where? I don't want to go back. Stay in the moment, Edna. Please, Marty, don't interrupt the trance. Oh, the sign is not good enough? Flippin' hell. Show it to Doc, then, maybe? Not sure what that'll do. Jesus, I'm retarded. I need another hint. And I will relieve her in her arrival in the 19th century if she can go uh, grandfather again. What did Marshall Strickland look like? I don't freaking know. A peek in the window will fresh her memory. The cactus will look more like Marshall Strickland when it's topped with... Oh! Ah! A mop for a hat. It looks a bit like grandfather now, but he would never have walked around bareheaded. So he needs a hat, and we have Edna's hat right here, which we this can. This hat doesn't frame her face very well. Put it on it. Put it on the cactus. God damn it, cactus! You are looking fine as hell. Oh yeah. Not bad. I'd hit it. Grandfather, how well you look! How well everything looks! I probably don't want to hug her. Tell me. It's a bit rustic, to be sure, but all the buildings are so sturdy and well-kept, and the young people of Hill Valley, they're so virtuous and upright. So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century, and I know the reason why. Why? They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state of innocence. I think mm. I could learn to like living here. <gasps> but who's this? Who? This big, loud swaggering up the street. Lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Beauregard. 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 Tannen? Tannen, yes. Oh, yes. Look, acting like a big shot. 
throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? The two-bit phony! And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a... Uh, a, a speakeasy? A what? I don't know. It's something I don't like. Something evil. This is the key to our mystery. The mother of God, she is literally bad shit crazy. But I think we're going to continue this next time. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you guys around next time. We'll get to play some more Back to the Future, the game, episode 5. <sighs> that was a long sentence for one breath. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.